Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching episode 7 of Violet Evergarden. Last episode was kind of different from the rest of the ones that we saw, I feel like. Violet didn't really write any letters, but she helped um, transcribe some documents for this like space organization. And she met a guy named Leon who she inspired to start living his life again, which is so nice it was one of my favorite episodes honestly i still have questions about violet and the situation with major gilbert's brother and so i'm wondering if that's gonna be answered this episode maybe not maybe it is but let's find out let's see in episode seven if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a thumbs up you can subscribe me down below we are ahead on patreon if you want to check that out over there we're probably already done with this show over on patreon by the time this is up on youtube um so there's early access over there as well as some timer reactions if you want to see my full reaction to each episode um, yeah, without further ado, let's watch episode 7 of Violet Evergarden. The drama. Is Violet here watching the play too? Or maybe she helped write something for the play? Oh, okay, she was not there. オスカウェブスターの大筆なんて羨ましすぎる。だって、真っ先に彼を。ああ、she was forced to do because I'm sure. Actually, I think we've seen her kill a bunch of people. She's literally like a war machine. There's a lot of letter requests there. She's getting so popular. I wonder if her popularity is going down. Ooh. I think that would make sense if she's starting to think about her relationship with him more because she's starting to understand emotions better. It's beautiful. Who's this? Oh. Oh no. So messy, so messy in there. Oh no. Oh, he's getting depressed. Oh did she just clean up for She did clean for him. Typewriter <laughs> よしはありますでしょうか買ってきてくれそれと夕食も軽くねえ、シーズンズゴナビーライクアメイドノ、シーズンズゴナビーライクアメイドノ、シーズンズゴナビーライクアメイドノ、シーズンズゴナビーライク
子供向けの芝居を書くのは初めてだね。うん。オリーブは火の谷を越えて、無事に剣を手に入れ、その代わりに精霊使いの力を失ってしまうんだ。ではどうやって故郷へ戻るのですか船も壊れてしまいましたし。She's so invested. そこはまだ考えてない。考えなければ、父親が待つ家に帰れません。うん。いい天気だな。So good. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay, but whose parasol? Whose? Oh, that's Did he have a kid? Oh, fuck. This is sad. And Violet reminds him of her. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna be sad. Yes, there is. So it was a story. Oh, it was his daughter. He lost his wife to an illness. She's so cute. She does look so similar to Violet. Oh, fuck this music, guys. This music. 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 This Did she get sick too? Oh, my God. 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 Violet. Is that like the first time that she's cried? Actually, I think we saw her cry um, when Major Gilbert died. I don't think he should be sorry. Mm. I don't think she has to apologize either. Oh, fuck. I think that's a great ending. Mm. <gasps> That would be perfect. <笑>そのかさがあなたも翼よ高く飛ぶと風に流されるから海では波を川では岩を湖では落ち葉を踏んでいきなさい戻ってきたオリーブは父親に再会する海を渡って帰ってきて再会して一言目おおおおおおおお
That was so beautiful. <laughs> she gets to keep it? That has to be so healing for him. The impact that she makes. Oh god, now it looks like she's... うん。生きて。いいのですか。生きて。いいのですか。生きて。いいのですか。生きて。いいのですか。生きて。いいのですか。生きて。いいのですか。生きて。いいのですか。生きて。いいのですか。生きて。いいのですか。生きて。いいの
<laughs> yeah thank you all so much for watching i appreciate it uh but take care and i'll see you next one for episode eight okay bye everyone